Carbon wheels might seem like a no-brainer upgrade for the randonneur looking for some extra performance and efficiency, especially when they're using disc brakes. Uh, carbon wheels are going to be lighter and more aerodynamic than the 2 kilogram stock wheels that come with most bikes. Today, I'm going to give a long-term review on the Far Sports Gravel carbon wheels I have equipped here and how they might be useful for a randonneur. A little background on the purchase of these Far Sports gravel wheels. I paid full price for them with the intent to use them long term on whatever my primary randonneuring bike is for the foreseeable future. Whatever the bike I ride, it will have disc brakes, through axles, and run 28 to 32C sized tires. I wanted a wheel with width optimal for 28C tires that actually inflate to about 30 millimeters wide on a wide rim bed. This satisfies the 105 rule, which says that ideal aerodynamics result from a rim that is 105% the width of the tire. 40 to 50 millimeter depth of the rim balances aerodynamics and crosswind handling for me as a heavier rider, but one who rides in variable conditions. I wanted entry level pricing from about 900 to 1200 US dollars. Uh, but there was some flexibility in that if the right mix of specs were available. A solid rim bed was preferred to never have to bother with rim tape at the expense of difficult spoke replacement and being priced into external spokes. Hookless was preferred for improved impact resistance, a bit wider tire profile, and easier tire mounting. The hookless downsides of 73 PSI max pressure, uh, the inability to use 25 mil tires, and a limited tire choice didn't really matter to my use case. Looking at the options available, uh, locally the Zip 303S and Hunt wheels had really, really high local markups, which just made them a non-starter. Many of the road wheels like the Giant SLR2s, the Windspace, and Loon uh, hyper wheels and the specialized Rapide C38s were just too narrow. They're more designed for 23 or 25 millimeter tires. Uh, the two top branded options for me were the Giant CXR2 and the Head Vanquish, but both of these were unavailable locally. That left me with uh, two options for custom wheel builders from China. Light Bicycle makes the Falcon Pro AR45. Uh, which comes with a hooked rim bed and a five-year warranty. It's almost exactly the same price as the other option, uh, what I'm reviewing here, the Far Sports uh, gravel wheel. Uh, the Far Sports wheels came with the choice of hooked or hookless rim beds, uh, an 18-month warranty, which is significantly less than light bicycle, but it came with a local distributor in my country. They handled the importing and basically eliminated the import duties and shipping fees. I was able to pay in my local currency, and I also got some peace of mind from having that distributor um, within reach. When I ordered these wheels back in the spring of 2021, Farsports was doing full customization for each order. I opted for Bitex 312 hubs for their low weight, their low price, and good personal experience with Bitex quality. Uh, these hubs also have strong reviews from wheel builders online, so it was a pretty easy choice compared to some of the more expensive competition. Uh, Schwabe Pro One tires finished off the order as they were the best option for hookless compatible road tires at the time, even though that's no longer true. The final cost was $900 delivered with tires and sealant installed uh, by the local distributor. I ordered the wheels with no decals, but they came with giant white FAR vinyl stickers everywhere, but those were really easy to remove. Unfortunately, recent price increases and a reconfiguration of the product line by Far Sports have added about $500 to the cost of 45 millimeter deep gravel wheels. And these include in-house hubs, which are about the same weight and same price as the Bitex 312 hubs. The rims measured basically as advertised. 
they were consistent in measurements across different points on the wheel. The inner width was about 24.9 millimeters. The widest external point on the rims is about 31.2 millimeters. And the 28C Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless tire uh, measured at 30 millimeters. This puts it right at the 105% rule, which makes for wonderful aerodynamics, theoretically. Uh, the weights of the wheels, if taken into account known weights of some of the other components, uh, 653 grams for the front and 756 grams for the rear, which totals at 1,409 grams, including the valves. This is only four grams from advertised, which is pretty great. Uh, mounting the tires was very easy to do with a floor pump. Uh, the only technique that's needed is to remove the valve cores, and after the tire is pumped up, quickly remove the pump head and reinstall the valve cores before too much air gets out. Regarding the ride quality of the rims, uh, their biggest feature is that they facilitate wide, low-pressure road tires. Um, I run the Schwalbe Pro 1s at uh, between 60 and 65 PSI, which is smooth enough to dull rough roads and bumps to an expected degree. It's stable in corners and offers good braking grip. The speed and efficiency of this wheel tire combination met my expectations. Uh, it didn't go above and beyond, but it also didn't disappoint. One of the uh, benefits of running tubeless are reduced punctures. I've had four to five punctures which have sealed themselves and also resulted in some uh, spraying of latex over the bike. It's pretty easy to clean up. Not everything with tubeless setups are sunshine and rainbows though. Uh, the original squirt sealant that came with the wheels was from a bad batch that reacted poorly with the Schwalbe Pro 1 tires. Uh, it separated into a mess and needed to be replaced. I switched to Panzer sealant, which works better, but every two days the tires need to be pumped up because there are some very, very slow leaks that just don't get sealed. One characteristic of these wheels that I'm very familiar with is the creaking that happens after about 1500 kilometers. Uh, this has happened on almost every single wheel set I've ever owned, and it just comes from lubrication in the free hub, uh, either getting cleaned out or drying up or getting dirty. Uh, the last note about the ride quality of these rims is their stability in wind. Overall, the stability is acceptable, but not perfect. The wheels are not much affected by strong, constant crosswinds or even sudden gusts, but there are some brief wobbles that are not terribly strong but still noticeable, and these seem to come more from a stalling effect rather than from crosswinds themselves. This mainly occurs at high speeds and when coasting, and it especially seems to occur when there is a cross headwind. Unfortunately, these conditions usually mean that the wobble happens on descents, which is a bit unnerving. Uh, with that in mind, uh, I'm a heavier rider, so these issues don't affect me as strongly as it might a lighter rider. So if buying rims with the same profile, uh, lighter riders might prefer a shallower rim. So in conclusion, the Far Sports gravel wheels are a happy addition to my bike. Uh, recent price increases have put the Far Sports gravel wheels more in line with the prices of branded competition, and it's priced higher than some other Chinese brands now, but I would still have these wheels as one of my final choices if I were buying today for 28 to 32 millimeter road tires. The Light Bicycle Falcon Pro AR45 would now be my preferred low cost choice and still has options for specific hubs and spokes. The Far Sports gravel wheels would be my top mid-price choice by virtue of being hookless, having a solid rim bed, and being sufficiently wide. The Head Vanquish wheels would be my halo wheel if money were no option, just edging out the Far Sports gravel due to reports of excellent wind stability.
Overall, the Far Sports gravel wheels have met all of my expectations for performance and quality. Uh, the perceived quality that I feel in these wheels inspires confidence for longevity and a good lifespan with many, many kilometers to come. But of course, time will tell. So if you're a randonneur looking for some carbon wheels, check out the Far Sports Carbon Gravel Wheels. Uh, they're pretty good. Hope this review was helpful and see you in the next one.